Hey guys, I'm Brianna. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm filming my review for After the Game by Abby Kalines. If you guys don't know, this is the third book in the Field Party series, and hopefully we'll be getting six more books. It depends on how well the first three books do. So if you're definitely interested in YA Contemporary, please check this books out because I really want to read more books from this series. So I'm not going to delve into too many spoilers just because this is the third book even though they can be read kind of as standalones because they follow different characters the characters in the books following the first book are like shown in the previous book so this follows uh riley and brady riley is mentioned in book two and brady is a huge side character in book one and two so i was super excited to have god in a book about brady because brady is definitely one of my favorite characters um if you guys don't know the premise of this book is basically they're in a small alabama town and the town is run by football and everyone loves football there. It's huge with the high school team and all that. And each football player, each book is about a football player and this girl that have problems. And they kind of just go through the whole book explaining it. And yeah, yada, yada, yada. It depends on the book what the problem is. But I was super happy to get a book about Brady because Brady is one of my all-time favorite characters. He is described as the quarterback of the school, but he's a very, very good guy. He has done nothing wrong. He's super nice, and he is kind of a pushover sometimes, especially with dating. Um, and then Riley in this book is kind of uh, the black sheep, I guess you can say. Uh, she actually accused um, the brother... Well, no, the guy from the last book, his brother, his older brother of rape, and it did actually happen, and she got pregnant, so this does deal with teenage pregnancy, which I did like a lot. Um, but overall, I really enjoy these books as well, um, not only because of the contemporary aspect, but because it does show them playing football, and I feel like that is a big reason why I like sports romances too. But I think they talked a lot about topics that can be happening to anyone in real life and I think that was interesting. So this book follows Brady and Brady um, has dealt with really nothing crazy in his life. He's on his path to becoming the top quarterback in college and he's the number one quarterback in high school right now so all he's really thinking about is pretty much winning state championships because that's a really big deal and going to college. He was originally going to go to Alabama but then he wants to go to Texas A&M and then he switches back to Alabama. It's back and forth but that's all he's ever dreamed about. He hasn't really dealt with anything and you have Riley who was run out of town after the incident when she was 15 and now she's all back in town 17. She has a young daughter named I literally just read this book and I forgot her name. I think it's Bryony, Bryony, B-R-Y-O-N-Y. It's like a weird name, but whatever. And her daughter is the most adorable thing in this book. I loved it. And I really liked how Abby Glines kind of took Riley's side of the story because it does go back and forth. Um, it's a dual person perspective and it kind of talks about Riley's past and how strong she is now and how that did change her and she hasn't had the typical teenage life at all. She's been raising this kid and her parents love her so her parents are helping her out and they don't blame her at all and it just it's very sad to see that this whole small town turned against her just because someone wealthy basically told them that she was lying and she wasn't so I liked how you can see how strong of a character she was and the development of her character is really nice to see because even though you may not have things that are like because I doubt a lot of people are like Riley it's just nice to see that I can connect with her as a person because of some of the troubles that we've been through in life um, but back to Brady uh, Brady pretty much has seen his cousin because his cousin moves in with him and the first book is about um, his cousin and his best friend. So it's kind of nice to see how Brady's struggling now and I don't want to tell you what happens because I want you to read it but something happens in Brady's life and he kind of questions everything after that incident happens and it's nice to see how Riley's already a strong person and Brady's breaking down right now so they kind of lean on each other for a lot and I just really, really enjoyed this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 on Goodreads. And this was honestly my favorite book out of the series. I think 
my order was probably 312, how it went. And I'm super excited to share my love of this book for you guys. And if you guys have any questions about this book, just let me know because Abby Glines is amazing. And I feel like it's interesting to read about a town like this because my town is like semi-small. It's not really small. And my high school's decently sized. Like it's pretty big. So it's not like everyone knows everyone. So it was nice to have like a small town experience. And I don't know, I just liked a lot of it because there is bullying in here and I feel like bullying is a big thing. It used to be a big thing back then, especially with cyberbullying when iPhones start, started coming out. But I feel like now it's really important to just bring light to that. Like, everyone is different in their own way. And to me that is a huge statement because you can have someone that's trying to do something that they really love and they shouldn't get ostracized just for doing that. So... I really think this book, it does bring perspective a lot, this whole series, and I really think you should read it, especially if you are a teenager in high school, because it kind of makes you rethink what you're actually doing, and I love these books. I feel like the romance in these books are great, but it's kind of like a side part, in my opinion, because of everything else that's going on in the novel so yeah I definitely recommend this book series especially the first two books I can show them to you guys because they're right on my shelf but the first book is Until Friday Night um, this one follows West Ashby and Maggie who is Brady's cousin and then the second book is Under the Lights who follows Gunner and Willa but I definitely recommend all three of these books, especially this one. If you guys want something kind of, not really light, but, I mean, it was definitely fast read. I read this book in one day. But if you want something that will make you think outside of the box of what you're actually doing and how your actions can impact someone else's life, I definitely think these are good books to read. And I hope you guys will pick them up. And I hope you guys really liked this book review video and don't worry there's no spoilers so you guys can go right into this book not being spoiled about anything so that's it for today's video i hope you guys really enjoyed this i'm hoping to get up a lot of stuff this coming week especially since it's october so be prepared for my september wrap up my october tbr and i'll probably be throwing in maybe a horror review and a sci-fi review because i feel like that's those are the two big genres right now in October. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if you want any more information about the books I read, definitely go check out my Goodreads. It's linked in the description. And that's it for today. Bye, guys.